Yo, what's up, man? It's your boy Star Status Chris back with another video breakdown. For today's video, we're gonna take things up north, man, and that's New York. And we're gonna go ahead and re examine the stack bundles hit that was in Far Rockaway. So let's go ahead and get into the breakdown. So, with a lot of my videos, I always get straight to the point. So, let's get straight into the night that everything happened. Now, what's interesting with this whole case was. Stack Bundles wasn't supposed to be in New York at the time. He was actually supposed to be in Atlanta because he was actually going to be doing some networking and being in the studio with some different artists. And this is all stuff that Jim Jones has set up for him to do so he can like really just uh, get his buzz out there more. So Jim was really trying to set it up for Stack Bundles to actually like get down south and really start that whole wave of, you know, doing some collabs with some different artists down there, I think. One of the artists that he was supposed to actually link link with was Rich Boy at the time. So he was actually supposed to be set up and do that. But he actually like end up partying the night before and he ended up missing his flight. So he had to stay back in New York, which prompted him to go to this nightclub. So Stack Bundles and his friend ends up going to this nightclub. While at this nightclub, they end up bumping into some people that they know. Actually, three guys. And while they're there at the nightclub, you know, it's just a normal night out you know when you go to the club so stack is buying drinks for the men you know just kind of chilling and they just kind of like enjoying the night in the evening now some time goes by and you know everybody's just in the like in a club mode everybody's having fun everybody's partying they're drinking you know it's just everything is normal so zab judah walks into the club now, Stack and Zab Judah are pretty well acquainted with each other because Zab was real good friends with DJ Clue. Now, DJ Clue has signed Stack as an artist prior to him linking up with Jim Jones. So he was very familiar with Zab Judah and he went over there and, you know, shook his hand and they had a little small conversation and the night went on. So when the night goes on, the guys that I told you about earlier that Stack had ran into that he knew and bought him drinks and all that stuff. They start to plot on Zab because because Zab is in the club, you know, iced out, got a lot of jury on, you know, probably has a lot of money on them. So they thinking in their head like, OK, we can go ahead and run, run up on Zab and we can go ahead and stick him up and rob him and get some money out of it. So why they try to put this plan into action and go over there and stick Zab up, Stack realizes what's going on and he immediately goes over there and diffuses the situation and prevents them from actually going through with the robbery at the club. Now, when he does that, these guys are heated. I mean, they're like super heated about it because they're thinking they're about to get all this jury and they're about to get all this money. And the last thing they were thinking that was going to happen with Stack was going to get in the middle of that and prevent them from actually going through with it. So they get into this little altercation, but it wasn't nothing where like Stack actually got in a fight with the guys or anything. It was more like, you know, they got into the disagreement and the three guys ended up leaving the nightclub. So everybody goes into their cars and gets ready to head back into their destinations. Stack gets in the car with his homie, which is the driver of the car that Stack Bundles was in, and they start to head back to Far Rock. So during the ride back home, Stack Bundles and his homie decide to grab a bite to eat, and they stop at a local White Castle. So once they make this stop at White Castle, Stack Bundles' friend notices the car that was carrying the three men they got into it with earlier that night pass by. Now, not paying it too much mind at the moment, he just kind of looked at it and then he got back in the car and they headed back to Far Rock. Now, this is when things get very interesting. Stack Bundles and his friend finally arrive back to Red Firm. Stack gets out the car and heads into the main entrance. But before he can make it to his apartment door, he is ambushed and gunned down right inside the front door of the building at Red Firm. The death of Stack Bundles sent shockwaves through the music industry and left a lot of fans confused about what happened that night. You still have people who believe that Jim Jones was responsible for this hit because of a viral video by a guy named Trash Man that hit Worldstar that stated he was paid by Jim Jones to take out Stack Bundles. But as time went on, no information grew from that, so people just kind of put it off as not being true. The most solid theory in my eyes is that a guy named Lee Woods carried out the hit on Stack. 
According to the New York Daily News, informants told police that Woods shot and killed Stack Bundles during what they labeled as a botched robbery. And that same year, Lee Woods ended up being convicted of the killing of one Brooklyn police officer. So that pretty much sums up the whole case, man. I just wanted to go ahead and do the Stack Bundles story because I know a lot of people were commenting and let me know like they would like to actually hear. So you know, I have to bring it to you guys. Also, shout out to my guy, Hood TMZ. Make sure to check out his page. He has dope content regarding stack bundles. And uh, he has a lot of other great content as well. So make sure to go over to his page and check out more videos. Like any other time, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to jump in that comment box below and let me know your thoughts and let me know who I should cover next. Appreciate all the love and support. Signing out, your boy, Star Status Chris. <laughs>